Every day I found myself throwing clothes all over my bed until my room became a miniature apocalypse scene. This is because I'd not implemented my own very simple structure for organizing your wardrobe to be absolutely optimal for the things that bring you the most joy, basically. I am going to break down that structure in this video and actually test it out for you guys to show you how it works. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a personal stylist and on this channel we use body types to elevate our personal style and end the war with our wardrobes. I'm also really excited to be working with Open Wardrobe for this video which you'll hear about a little later. The first stage of creating a wardrobe which is perfect for you, your dream wardrobe if you will, is to start with a blank slate. <laughs> It can be really tempting when you have a messy room to try and organize through the mess. It's like, why would I put all this stuff away when I'm just need to organize it and the whole system will be different? No, no, I was so tempted to do this, but it, it was so good for me to have a good clear up, put all the mess back where it belongs for now, have a good clean and really see, see it from the beginning. I've just been giving myself a really nice blank slate to begin with so that I'm not surrounded by clutter while I'm trying to declutter. Makes a lot of sense. You need to put the right foot forward from the word go. Now we're going into the big wardrobe, which is where all my trousers are, all my jackets are, my longer skirts, and then I have another wardrobe in the back, which is all dresses and stuff. But I think I want this big section in here to be basically my absolute favorite pieces, which work perfectly to my style roots, perfectly for my color season, um, perfectly for my body type, like every item in there is the creme de la crop. So stage two is basically the core principle of this entire process. You really need to have a space to display your favorite items. I really mean the items which work for each of your three style routes. If you're unfamiliar with this idea of style routes, it's my own fashion theory, which says that each of us have three core routes of inspiration that we draw from to create our personal style. And this is what creates something really unique. And each of the style routes come from nature. So you have mushroom, mountain, stone, earth, fire, flower, moon, and sun. And my three style routes are mushroom, flower, and fire. So for me, it's very important to have my wardrobe be very delicate, sweet, elegant, with a hint of luxury. If you want me to create a style file for you based on your style roots, make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com. The link is in the description. So I wanted each of the pieces in my core wardrobe to represent this version of myself. I also want each of these favorite pieces to work for my body type and my color season. I have a sort of selected color palette based around my color season and my style roots. And this color palette to me is cream and white, blue, red, and pink. Red isn't technically in my color season, but it is a huge part of my style roots, so I like to incorporate it. So I've done a really good job here, and there's just like similar textures, patterns, that I have come back to again and again. Basically, I wanted plain, floral, polka dots mainly, and I have a couple of stripes and gingham, but mainly I want floral and polka dot, but I'm happy with a couple of stripy things here and there. Um, and there's lots of plain in here, everything's the right color palette. This, ideally, is what I would have my entire wardrobe be, but you know, we're all about being sustainable queens here, so I've got um, all my other clothes to kind of pair with this stuff so that I can try and make this work. But if I've got all my favorite pieces here, then I can, you know, even if one of these doesn't bring me as much joy, I can then pair it with something that makes me feel so me. Everything kind of works a little bit better. Step three though, which comes before all of that, is you need to organize your wardrobe by seasons, i.e. you need to store away anything which is not this season's clothing. I've just been through this cupboard here, which is where I keep all of my tops. I have a jumper drawer and I have no idea what I'm going to do about that because that's obviously all winter stuff. So this is my too big for me pile. These are my winter piles. Uh, and then everything else is things that are going to go back into there. I think it was Lena Norms who talked about this recently in a video and I thought it was brilliant. I've already started storing things which don't fit me, which I'm gonna come on to in a minute. But the idea of putting away the wardrobe that you're not currently using is really great because it's really exciting when you get that wardrobe back out for the new 
season and it feels like going shopping you'd be surprised how quickly your memory of your clothes disappears and so it can be really good to get excited about your wardrobe again when you kind of bring it back out and you're like oh i completely forgot i had these trousers i'm really excited to wear these again whereas if they're in your wardrobe the whole year you look at them throughout the summer and you get kind of bored of them it's really exciting for bringing back a little bit of energy into your wardrobe and also you're not going to be wearing those things so they're just making it hard to access the things you do need to get out number four is store away the items that don't fit you anymore i think a lot of people encourage you to just get rid of the clothes that don't fit you but i think we all know that we fluctuate with our weight last year i was a size up than i am now and all of those clothes are far too big for me but i know that one day i'm likely to be that size again so why would i throw them away and i love a lot of those clothes and i've invested money into those clothes so i want to keep them so i've got a box for storing things which just don't fit me anymore and kind of drown me and don't make me feel particularly good about myself they go away everything is now organized by whether it fits me or not and whether it's the correct season and then again it's instead so when you do inevitably have your weight fluctuate again and it goes up or down you can bring out those clothes and get really excited to wear them again rather than it being a sort of punishment for yourself where you're like oh none of my clothes fit me i'm gonna have to go out and buy loads of new ones because there are clothes that fit you already in your wardrobe a kind of sub point to that is if the reason the clothes don't look right on you has nothing to do with weight and it's, and it's to do with your body type, I would consider giving those clothes to charity rather than, or selling them obviously, but I, I'm a charity shop gal myself. So rather than storing those clothes, because there's no point they're never gonna make you feel positive. Step five is to separate your wardrobes into little wardrobes digitally. And I'm now doing this using an incredible app called Open Wardrobe who have reached out to me to work with me, which I am so glad that they did because I have been completely obsessed with their app over the past couple of days. The idea is that you upload all of the items in your wardrobe into this app, kind of like Clueless. You know, where she's like, I'm just an ordinary teenage girl. And then she like swipes through all her clothes that is this app it's amazing and then when you upload the photos of those images one of the features that i personally found really quite exciting is that it automatically works out if it's a v-neck if it's a crew neck it will tell you you know like how long the sleeves are which you already know but it's just nice to have everything categorized like that and you can put in the details yourself if you like so you can and put in what color it is, what material it is. And I think that's really amazing to figure out, you know, how sustainable actually is my wardrobe? How much of my clothes are polyester or cotton? Am I using sustainable fabrics? So it can be a really good way to look, take a deeper look into your wardrobe as well. You can then take those pieces and create outfits on the app, kind of like Polyvore, if you had Polyvore back in the day where you'd take kind of clothes from online and then create outfits. It's really similar to that. So you can create little collages, um, but using your own clothes. So again, it's a really exciting way to shop your own wardrobe and add a little bit of excitement into the wardrobe and also create outfits without having to completely ransack your organized space and find inspiration that way. It's, it's absolutely amazing and I know I'm going to be using it probably for the rest of my life. You can also look at other creators' wardrobes for inspiration. And there's a link in my bio if you guys wanna go check it out. It's, it's actually completely free, so go, use. I love it, it's amazing. Step six is organize your wardrobe by color. This has been the most transformative thing that I've ever done in my wardrobe. Um, lots of people like to organize by category and I think that's fine, but I feel like organizing by color works much better because that's the principal thing really that your outfit relies upon. You know, you, you can bring out a top and yeah, you need a jacket, but if that jacket doesn't go with the color, then the outfit's not gonna work. That's kind of an explanation of the logic there. But I just feel like color is the most important principle in bringing an outfit together. So, you know, if you if you pick out a pink top, you want a pink headband to match. As it happens, this is not actually a head headband. It's supposed to go around the middle, but I improvised. <laughs> But just, you know what I mean, it, 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 it's the most important part. So organizing by color makes things really easy to visualize outfits and put them together because all the things in the same color are in the same section. So you can kind of just put those together very easily. Step number seven is to make sure anything that you use is actually within reach. And anything that doesn't interest you right now is out of reach. You know, if it's a piece of clothing that doesn't really feel like you in this stage of your life you might not want to get rid of it because you might come back to that but maybe just put it behind your other clothes for example so this is where i keep largely my dresses and my jackets anything that's a winter dress i'm going to put on the back here because the back is much harder to reach 
so I've also on the back got all my longer things, um, which kind of makes it a winter section anyway, because it's got all my long coats, which I'm just obviously not going to wear in summer. But I think we're going to kind of transform it to my winter section, and then when the seasons change, we can swap it out again. So you can see that the back is now a lot more packed, which is fine because we're not going to be using stuff at the back. Um, so it doesn't really matter if it's unaccessible. That's the entire point. And the front has a lot more space to kind of sift through. And we're going to populate that now with the other things from my wardrobe, which aren't perfect, but kind of I still want to wear in summer and spring. Number eight. There are some things which are gonna need to be hung which aren't gonna be a part of your main wardrobe. The main problem now is all of the things which need to be hung but I don't want in my main wardrobe space. So I like my favorites, my absolute core favorite items to be hung up in the middle of my wardrobe. But what about things like jackets and coats and dresses that really need to be hung which are gonna clutter up that space? I would highly recommend for everyone who's interested in fashion to get a separate rail for these items. Or, you know, swap that round. You know, you can you can store things in that main wardrobe if you like and have your main wardrobe be on a rail if you prefer, but this is kind of how it works best for me. This is an amazing um, clothing rack that I got off Amazon. Don't think it was very expensive for what it is. It's pretty heavy duty and it's two layers. And it's just a place to separately keep those clothes that you want to come back to and use but and need to be hung but don't spark an incredible amount of joy and don't feel completely 100% you. And a similar point but I would consider a separate step is number nine, keep shoes, bags and accessories outside of your main wardrobe so that it doesn't clutter up that space and make sure you have a really good designated space to put those things. And I would just like to clarify that I have one bedroom in my parents' house. It's not like I have an entire house. So, you know, I'm not giving you this advice from a place of I have a whole house and you can put all this stuff everywhere. I have a room <laughs> and a half because I've invaded another room. I've invaded the spare room. No one can stay in there in there anymore. It's the place for my rail <laughs> and my room is really small like it is a bed and then like this like this much room outside of that bed and i've used up every piece of wall space i can and i just think if you're into clothes it's worth doing because if you're in a small space like that having everything organized and really clear space for those things makes it really easy to access and it means you don't get this really crazy cluttered space that i often end up with with the small tiny room <laughs> So those are my nine steps for creating a perfect wardrobe which is personalized for you and is super accessible. Thank you so much to Open Wardrobe for working with me on this video. I'm so excited about their app and I really, really do recommend you guys go and have a little play with it because it's been absolutely transformational for me. If you want a style file from me, make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com. The link is in the description as well. And if you've enjoyed this video, I really think you will enjoy my playlist on building your personal style from scratch. I buy velvet hangers and then my mum steals them. So today, we're doing a swap. I'm taking back what's mine. Have you ever seen such a theft in your life? Diabolical, absolutely diabolical.